G'day everyone, Viv here. I hope you're all keeping well. Welcome back. I'm pretty stoked. I've been playing around a lot with uh, OBS Studio and a few other bits and pieces, some apps and stuff. I've been keen to film battle reports for ages, but in you know, my typical fashion, you know, I get a little bit, you know, OCD, a little bit perfectionist. And, you know, I don't film things because I don't have the setup really that I really want. You know, five or six, seven cameras, um, all that sort of stuff. But I've tackled a couple of things over the last few nights, and one of them is this dice tower here. Let's have a closer look. So one of the things I've always been keen on is getting a dice tower that allows you to capture the action. So I've fashioned up, you know, measured, designed, and you know, made this phone holder, which is running some software, which is streaming to my, you know, my OBS up here. Um, and uh, so, you know, I've got some dice down the bottom up here. Simply pop them in the top up here and they scatter down. Now, in OBS, I've got another source here, which through Stream Deck, I think, no, is it Stream Deck? No, what's called Deck Board. I can switch on the dice tray. And you can see it's perfectly cropped. Roll my dice. And everything comes out nice and neatly. Switch off that source. Clear out the the dice and we're good to go you know put up my other slides and you know whatever you know. <laughs> come back to our you know this screen here obviously I know I've got a whole bunch of other uh, scenes and stuff you know set up I'm still playing around but you know there we go put my dice tray back on roll my dice there they come out perfectly you can see they're all very well readable and um, turn the dice cam off empty out the dice cam and there we go. One of the other cool things I love about this is because the phone is sitting inside this little holder, it's always in the same place that, you know, if we come back up here to OBS and I put my dice cam back on, you know, I can grab that dice tower and move it around a little bit and you can see it hardly moves. But when I put it back down on the table, you know, it should relatively center itself. There we go, straight back to normal. So, you know, I can just grab it pick it up, move it around, let's put it up here on the table up here and then you know it'll settle itself back into its exact position that it was in before perfectly cropped I love it! So exciting! So there we go, one more piece of the puzzle solved I've finally figured out that you know I don't need to connect multiple web cameras to my laptop, it craps out at about three um, two reliably, three it starts to have a problem, but I've got loads of spare mobile phones um, that uh, are still pretty good. So I'm using those with some uh, with an app to stream straight to uh, OBS. So last night when I was messing around, I had seven cameras connected. Uh, now it's just a matter of you know fleshing things out in OBS a little bit more, and then you know I can press that play button and do some live streams of me fumbling my way through different sorts of games and rules. Anyway. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I can't wait to see you real soon. I'm super excited. Hopefully, it just takes a couple more days, and then I can start live streaming some games. Um, so much easier than having to record and edit them. Just put that live stream on, and you can listen to us talk shit. All right. Catch you soon, guys. See ya.